Hello and welcome. My name is Meepolis and this is Literally Graphic. And today I'm jumping on the bandwagon. Too late to be anywhere near on trend, but I'm still glad to be here now in a world where I have read Check Please Year One by Ngozi Ukazu. As per her bio on Goodreads, Ngozi Ukazu is the author of the online graphic novel series Check Please. She studied at Yale University in the Savannah College of Art and Design. Check Please started life as a webcomic, and the first post is dated February 1st, 2017, and it is still running right now. I am reading the print collection self-published in 2017 by the author herself. Very impressive. The official description on the back goes thusly. Eric Bittle, a former figure skater, vlogger, extraordinaire, and amateur patisserie, is starting his freshman year playing hockey at the prestigious Samwell University, and it's nothing like co-ed club hockey back in Georgia. For one, there's checking. It's a story about hockey and friendship and bros and trying to find yourself during the best four years of your life. Obviously the subject of much buzz on booktube for a number of years now, I picked it up on a bit of a whim and devoured it hook line and sinker. It's a comic about hockey, sure. That includes a main character who's gay, sure. And he likes to make pie, okay. And there's a ridiculous amount of swears. Oh wow, that just makes me sound juvenile. <laughs> but I was honestly a bit surprised by how many swears there were and the variety. At most, I'm used to dark, gritty comics for adults that drop F-bombs exclusively. Of course, that's probably not true, but my mind is like a colander, so that's what it feels like anyway. This definitely gets a prize for the most variety of swear words. If you like Giant Days, you will probably like this comic. I certainly liked it a lot better, but that seems to be a, a minority opinion in that I don't like Giant Days that much. Publishing web comics is always a bit tricky. The format is a novel, but thanks to consistency, I felt like it turned out pretty okay. The collection strikes a good balance between plottiness and just exploring a hilarious premise. Everything is pretty up a beat with just enough honesty thrown in there to keep it grounded. It's so freaking endearing, it really doesn't make sense how much oh so serious old me honestly enjoyed it. How is gender and sexuality treated in this book? Well, the main character is a gay man, apparently cis, surrounded by other, as far as we know, cis men, with uh, one female character. Uh, while I suspect that at least one of the other men is also gay, the rest are fairly vocally interested in women. Uh, everyone is accepting when Biddle comes out. So nothing amazing, but solid. How are race and class treated in the comic? Not really at all. Everyone appears to just happen to have everything they need, and there is one black guy. Not the best, but the creator themselves is a black woman, so at least her take on potentially pretty generic characters does try harder, and is as a result more engaging. But yeah, fingers crossed that this develops a bit more going forward. So bye y'all, keep reading, and resist fascism. And as always, I would like to acknowledge that, for the most part, all of my videos are filmed and produced on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit, and Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation, land covered by the dish with one spoon, wampum belt covenant.